she was his for the taking. He was just another little boy whose intentions were far from pure that she gives herself away to because she's so insecure. Her heart is beating in her ears and she doesn't want him to notice her fear. Quietly, she undresses. Each article of clothing she removes feels like a piece of herself that she's peeling away. She hoped that maybe this time it'd be special. What she anticipated would be full of tender kisses and sensual moans was really just a few grunts and one large sigh. All the while underneath him, she covers her mouth to stifle her cries. Then it's over. And what felt like to her an eternity was really just a few minutes of mediocrity. And she feels emptier than she ever fathomed possible because he, instead of filling her soul, allowed it to pour out an invisible puddle of shame and self-hatred surrounding their bodies. He quickly dressed, left no explanation for his exit. He didn't think she deserved one. The disturbed girl, now a desolate shell, rushed to the shower to try and wash off the filth of her deed, of her repugnance. A loathing she felt, not just for him and what he took from her, regardless of her willingness to give, but a loathing of herself. She scrubbed her skin until it burned under the harsh water and thrust herself up against the shower wall and slid down to the floor letting her body shake with sobs being drowned out by the trickling water. Lost in a whirlwind, she wished somebody would just grab her by the shoulders and stop this constant spinning she felt. She couldn't believe that she was worthy of love, yet she knew that she deserved more than this. So she sat there on the shower floor until the water turned almost as cold as she felt inside, searching diligently in her mind for a way out of this hell that she found herself stuck in at only 15. Her story is not just hers, but the story of many, of the girls of your high school halls, of the girl that you thought had it all together or the girl that you thought just didn't care. Their voices are all there. Smiles plastered on their faces to mask the darkness they feel within. Searching to fill a void made more massive by their actions. They are desperate for any satisfaction. What is the solution to a life so empty? Where can these girls find refuge to a darkness never ending? Tell me what solution do you see? And what if I told you that girl was me? Thank you.